All right, for today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick view on how to set up the ability to do slash commands from the text window. So this is you type forward slash broadcast will be my example, and it'll capture that and raise an event. So you can do things like send the message off to the server or um, modify something locally, whatever really makes you happy. So the very first thing we're gonna do the problem is this command, you can't insert anything into this because it's all behind C++ code. But there is a easy way to get to it. You have to go to the W chat window. Inside the W chat window, is variable. And then down here, let's go to the graph. Now at this point, we need to raise the event text changed. There we go. So whenever they type, actually we'll do text committed. So that way it's on enter. It's going to raise an event. And for this, all we're going to do right now is just print it out to the screen. So the very first thing we need to do is do a, uh, let's just do a quick print screen. Now, when, whenever we type anything into the chat box, it's going to print it out to the screen for us. All right, so here we are running. We're going to type test, and you see it print up in the top test. Now, this does not, as you notice, prevent it from going out to the server. It's actually sending this message up and down. Now, the fun part is the server, if you do slash something that doesn't exist, it doesn't care. It doesn't broadcast. It doesn't say anything. It just ignores it. So we're going to take advantage of this feature by going in and saying, cool, we've got this guy and I want to capture that and parse it out and do something useful with it. So let's get rid of this real quick. Um, very first thing I want to do is grab a substring of the text. Because uh, what I'm going to do with this is grab the source string is going to be this guy. So what I'm going to try and do right now is capture a specific string. I'm going to look for forward slash broadcast. And that means broadcast is 10 characters. I'm going to start at the first one. And I'm going to do a check to see. So let's do a branch. I'm going to do a check to see if this has the word broadcast in it. So we're going to go up here. We're going to say, um, you know, let's do... equal case insensitive slash broadcast because we need to grab just the first part so we're grabbing just the first 10 characters we're checking to see does it equal that and then feeding that into a branch now at this point we know great we can print the string with the value let's grab the actual value though not the broadcast amount so or the broadcast value so let's grab another su substring of this so we're going to say get substring same thing but now we're going to grab the end of it we're going to say from um 10 to i don't know how to do can you do negative one or I don't know. We'll just say 999. So that way it grabs everything. Now, at the end of this guy, 
um, we're going to print out that string. So whatever's after broadcast, we're going to print it out. Now this isn't sending the server or anything fancy at all. It's just a quick check to make sure that it works. So let's compile. If all goes well, whenever we type and it sees broadcast, it should pass this can oops, missed my connection there. It should pick this up and show just the text that follows slash broadcast. Slash broadcast testing this text. There we go. Testing this text. So basic text parsing. So at this point, um, we want to make sure that only admins can broadcast. So let's throw an and into this guy. And we need to grab. Let me scoot all this stuff over. All right, so our and, let's break this. We're going to say, so to get our as admin, we need to get player controller. Then from that, we need to cast to fun compound. So let's convert to a pure cast since it's not part of our flow. And then um, from here, we need to check is admin. And then that will go into our and. And if both slash broadcast and they are an admin is true, then it will continue on. Now at this point, it'll just print out the text and this will this will probably work great. Let's do a quick check to make sure everything's good. Test if admin. So yes, we are in if admin. So one of the things you could do at this point is at the end, rather than printing the string, because it's not really going to help you, is you could set up a method on the server and then broadcast over to actually execute on the server and then have that ricochet out the message. And this would be a, a nice way to do that. So just a quick video to show this functionality. It is pretty straightforward. It lets you um, cheat a little bit in that while there is no actual um, admin forward slash commands, you can stack a bunch of these together and read the text raw and just let it go off to the server and be ignored. But you can interrupt it and then do your own activity. So, all right, guys, uh, please let me know if you want to see something else. This was uh, just a quick video for today. Thanks a lot.